Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Verena. It's confession time. Some of you may remember that I uh, signed up for a 30 day challenge a while back and ever since it's been, I've kind of kept quiet about it and I've I now have to own up to complete and utter failure of the project. I was absolutely fine for the first 10 days. Loved getting out there every morning for an hour to do my jog around the fields. Felt fantastic, started to look better, sort of a bit slimmed down in, in, in hip and thighs. Weather helped, it was really gorgeous. Uh, talking of gorgeous weather, you'll have to excuse my, my makeup free look, it is boiling hot. I'm on my balcony and although it looks like I'm not wearing anything, I, I actually am, so um, I just thought I'll come on quickly and, and, and admit that my project has failed. Um, after about 10 days of, of being here in the countryside in Germany and really sort of having the wind in my sails, I took a flight, I went to London uh, where I go frequently and I was like an old fool, I was. I, I saw the back of the 49 bus at the bus stop, and I thought, right, if I sprint, I'll I'll get on there before the doors close. And I accelerated like a loon, and immediately knew I was in trouble. I had a real sort of burning, ripping pain in the back of one of my calves, and had to stop dead. And that was it. That was the the end of my experiment for about a week. I was limping around London flat shoes, absolutely zero glamour, and it took, I mean honestly before I could walk again without pain it took uh, 10 days, sort of the, f the first week limping and then I was beginning to walk normally but I could feel, I, I knew I wasn't up for, I wasn't up for jogging. So uh, I have a horrible feeling, it is just age and I cannot exercise for seven days a week without paying the price so my next 30 day challenge is going to be the same basically but I'm going to jog five days a week for an hour every day and either take two days rest or do a bit of gentle yoga on the other two days uh, because giving up is not an option but I simply have to make it work in an age appropriate way so I will keep you updated. The day after tomorrow I'm actually going to to the Black Forest for a week uh, to do a fasting program, not, not actually a strict fasting but it's more eating fruit and raw vegetable raw vegetables for a week um, and going on a three-hour hike every day uh, mostly in the mornings because it's actually really hot we're having a hot summer here in Germany so I'm I'm off and I'm planning to drop some weight and get a little fitter and once I'm back I'm going to start my new 30-day challenge so I'll keep you updated also I'm planning to come back with a review of the IT Cosmetics CC cream because I've now read so much about it that makes it sound brilliant. Um, and IT Cosmetics is cruelty free at this point. I think it's actually been bought by L'Oreal who are definitely not cruelty free. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little conflicted but so long as IT, conf it, it Cosmetics themselves remain cruelty free, i.e. do not export to, to mainland China, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm certainly going to have a go. Uh, since since the little fiasco with my Dr. Hauschka foundation that I still haven't quite survived. Uh, so I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching and uh, toodle pip. I'll see you then.